Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a drawing sheet and then plot it uh, using a simple uh, method, just uh, working within a limit in your drawing. So, let me begin by uh, starting a new drawing. We'll press Control N for New, and we'll come down and we'll select either English or Metric. Here we're in an entirely new drawing. Let's close this one out. We'll right click and then we'll choose close. Okay, so now we've got this new drawing. First thing we're going to need to do is to create a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to basically be our drawing area or a quarter inch drawing. Now, I'm basing this rectangle on these dimensions. So here we have uh, our drawing scale which is going to be quarter inch and our sheet size is going to be 34 by 44. If we were working in an eighth inch size we'd be working in a 68 foot by 88 foot sheet for example. But uh, today we're going to be working in a quarter inch uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet. So let's begin by drawing that rectangle. So REC and then we'll put the coordinate lower left at 0, comma, 0. And our upper right coordinate is going to be uh, from that sheet, it's going to be at uh, 44 feet, comma, 34 feet. And we can't really see the rectangle right now because we're uh, so zoomed down into it. But we can zoom and then press E and then enter or extends. So that's zoom, enter, E, enter. And now we can see our rectangle, uh, which is going to be our drawing area. And this is really the limits of our sheet, our 8.5 by 11 sheet. Um, so we need to also establish a limit inside Abicad. We do so by just typing in limits. And we enter the lower left and the upper right corner. Now this is going to be used when we go to plot this, uh, this sheet. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second. So the next thing I wanted to show you is how to set up the scale inside MetQ because in MetQ the text sizing uh, is reflected on the actual drawing scale. So we come down to drawing scale and we choose make sure this is clicked off and we choose 1 to 48 which is our quarter inch scale which is already set there. And then the next thing we'll need to do is set our dim scale. So dim scale is basically our dimension scale, how it factors with our drawing scale. So we type in dim scale. Again, the factor for that is 48. So that comes from this sheet here, which I'll provide some links to download. Um, now, we want to look at this column here, the drawing scale factor column. We come over to quarter inch equals a foot. and and sure enough, it says 48 as our scale factor. So for that, we've entered in 48 for our dim scale. So we're all set there for our dimensions. Now, let's go ahead and start our isometric drawing. Uh, we'll click here for our straight piece of pipe and our view draw. And we'll just come down, let's say, 8 feet. So we just start our cursor going in the direction of our pipe. And then we just type in 8 feet at the command line. Now at this point we can just continue on with an elbow or we can just press enter or return and it puts our straight piece of pipe in. Remember you have to type in enter after you put the first two points in if you just want a pipe. If you want to continue on uh, MetQ will put in an elbow automatically for you. So from here we're going to choose a T connection and we're going to choose this one in the middle. This yellow uh, X by the way is telling us where our point is going to be in re relation to where this T is sitting. So we just click this. This little X here is telling us that that's our last point and if we're happy with that we can press the enter key. Um, now the next point is going to be in the outflow direction of the pipe. And this only occurs for this kind of T fitting, by the way. So um, 
put a point here, and then we put a point over here. This is establishing the direction of the T. And now the T is put into the drawing, and we can either continue on from this side, or we can continue on from this side. And note this little, um, uh, this yellow, yellow uh, square. Um, that square is basically telling us where we're snapping. If we come down here into our each snap settings and right click, you'll see I have endpoint, center, and intersection turned on. This is a good setting uh, for what we're doing today. So let's just say we wanted to start it from this side. So we take our left button of our mouse, we click on that, and then we come over three foot. From here, we can make a corner. And as you see, MacQ puts in the elbow for us, like I was describing earlier. Um, from here, we could um, uh, put in a, a flange. So here, we'll just pick up the flange here, we'll put it in the point direction here, and our flange is, is put in there for us. And next we'll put in a valve. Uh, again, we're going to pick it from this point. We'll just press enter to retrieve our last point, and then we will point it into the direction. And now we're just going to finish it off with this flange. So we're just going to this one, again, we're going to click the last point and then the pipe direction. And that puts in our flange. And then we can continue on with the straight piece again. So we just press enter. And we come down, let's say, two feet. So we type in two feet. Press enter. So I think you might get the idea by now of how to do that. Um, so let's go on and try to plot what we have so far. So to do so, we would just type in the plot command. And here we want to probably plot this in monochrome. If we plot it in color, it might come out a little bit light on our printer. So this is forcing all the color to go to black. And the other thing we want to do is we want to turn this off. and We want to actually plot it at the scale of of where we're at. So we plot it at quarter inch equals a foot. And, and then this window, we can choose limits. And you remember the limits uh, that we set up in the beginning. That's basically what we're going to be printing. Um, and then from there, we could save this whole setup and call it setup 14 for a quarter inch. And now we can preview it. And as you can see, we have this little schematic going here, which is just what we wanted. And that, in a way, matches what we see here in model space. So it's the same relationship. This is our sheet, and so we really know the boundaries of our drawing when we're in model space. So let me just show you real quick how to add the dimensions. Pretty straightforward, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. So we come over to the isometric piping again. We pick, let's say, this point, and with our left button, this point. And then now we're just telling it where we want that dimension to be located at. We click this point, and now at the command line, uh, you'll see that it says 9 foot 6 and 3 eighths. If we want, we can override that with our own dimension, uh, but we'll just press Enter. And then, as you can see, it puts in the, the dimension string in isometrics. Uh, let me just show you um, how to put in text. So from here, we can um, establish where the text is going to be. And then we're going to say it's going to be a vertical text, D for vertical. And then we can just type in test, for example. And that, that puts it right on the, the line of the pipe, as you can see down there. Now, if we wanted to, uh, we could move it um, just by clicking on it and then dragging it to where we want. And uh, 
so far. Let me just do another one of those and I'll show you another way of doing that. So here we go ISO text. Now this time we're going to actually basically tell it the first point is going to be here and the second point is going to be here. And we're going to do a vertical again and we're going to say test. And now you'll be able to see it right there. So let's go ahead and uh, plot this out again. So we'll just type in plot. And as you can see, we need to select our setup 14 again and then preview it. One last thing I was going to show you real quick was how to adjust the scaling of the center line, which is this white line here. Um, there's a command called line type, which is LT scale, and currently it's set at um, 1. We could multiply that by 4, and then you'd be able to see the center line a little bit more clearly uh, when you lay it out. And the last thing I wanted to show you was how to scale the fittings independently. Uh, you can do this with the scale configuration, then clicking base sizes, and then from here adjusting the factors uh, of each of those fittings. Um, so here we're changing the, uh, the elbow to 0.5 and as an example I'll show you what that looks like. In an ISO drawing you're really not uh, too concerned with the, um, the exact scale of things. It's purely a symbolic drawing. So, And then we can do the same thing with the weld nodes. We can adjust those so that they're a little bit thicker and greater diameter. So let me know if you have any questions. My number here is 888-271-7121. You can also email us at info at cadavenue.com. Thanks and have a great day.